Hello and welcome to the second part of our GAPO tutorial mini-series inside of our Python's uh, Finance and Mathematics uh, Stock Indicators tutorial series. Where we left off, uh, we were uh, telling you about the GAPO and now let's actually program the GAPO. So if you don't have the sample data or uh, the starting script, you're going to get it in this link. It's in the description uh, for the sample data. Click on this. It'll send you uh, to this page here with the sample data. Copy and paste that into a notepad file. I call mine sample data with camel casing uh, dot text, and we're ready to go. If you have been following along and heeded my warning, uh, go ahead and copy and paste kind of the top part of the script. Uh, we will have to add something to it, so don't just skip through, otherwise you're going to get an error. Uh, it's going to be you need to import math. So now you can skip if you have. Otherwise, uh, type with me. Uh, well, first we want to import numpy as np, then we're going to want to import time, then finally we want to import math because we're going to use logarithm. Next, uh, sample data is going to equal open, and we want to open whatever you saved uh, your sample data to. I saved mine as sample data.txt, the intention to read, and we'll read it. Now, split data is going to equal sample data.split by new line, and then we're going to have date close p high p low p open p volume equals np dot load text and we want to load up split data with the delimiter of a comma and then finally unpack equals true now I wonder if I should just toss this I think maybe I'll toss this as like another link in that uh, tutorial things there's a lot more indicators to cover, and typing this is getting boring. Anyway, now, to find GAPO. For GAPO, we need the high and the low, the time frame, and the date. So DHL, like the shipping service, time frame. They should pay me for mentioning them. Next, uh, make some space here. And we're going to obviously have this make GAPO. We'll populate that in a little bit. X will equal time frame. And while wow, x is less than the length of date, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to have two things that we need to look through. So it's looking through the array. So like, let's say you had a gap of five. It would say, OK, what was the highest high of the last five days? And what was the lowest low of the last five days? So how can we get that? What we're going to first do is we're going to say consideration high is going to equal high. And uh, this little list that we want it to spit out is going to be x minus tf to x. And then we're going to say const low equals L, and again, x minus tf to x. Then to get the highest high, we would do something like this, equals max const high. So that would return us the highest value in that list. And then we'll do the same thing with lowest low, only we want to return the minimum of the uh, consideration low list. Once we have those values, next we can say gapos equals and then uh, we want math.log, and we want the logarithm of uh, the highest high minus the lowest, lowest low. That closes off this part, and then we can close off uh, this part. Then divided by, and I'm just going to hit enter to start on a new line. You don't have to do that if you don't want it. Then math.log of time frame. And now we're complete with the uh, equation. We'll go ahead and print GAPOs just to see for debugging purposes in case we get something weird. Then GAPO.append, and we want to append GAPOs to it. Then we finally want to do x plus equals 1. And then at the end of it, we're going to have it return d time frame colon and GAPO. So the date starting at the point that we're starting at, and then GAPO. And that's it. So then we need to actually call it. So GAPO. And the D variable is date, high P, low P, and we'll have this do a GAPO uh, 14, or yeah, 14. So let's save that, let's run that, and hopefully we get a bunch of GAPO. Let's see, GAPO is not, def oh, we lowercase our GAPO up here. So make this a capital GAPO. Run it. And lowest low is not defined. Lowest low. Lowest low. Cool. Try again. All right, so this time we actually got the output that we wanted. That looks to be a bunch of valid digits. Scares me that there's not a single positive number here, but that's okay. We'll proceed.
or not a single positive number, a single one is what I was looking for, uh, but at least we get somewhat close to a one a few times, uh, but it could just be the Starbucks uh, thing. Anyway, we'll have to, we'll chart Starbucks. Someone will remind me to chart Starbucks, you know, yell through my screen as I'm filming for me. Now, okay, so that's going to conclude the uh, programming it within Python. Now in the next video, we're going to chart it in matplotlib. So, as always, thanks for watching.